Back to a Boeing revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to the Boeing company and Elon Musk. Uh, today, we've got another predictions video. Hopefully, you'll find it interesting. So, let's get going. So, this is our third prediction. As I've said previously, I think this is probably one of the most solid ones in terms of, I think it's definitely going to happen. So, just to clarify, what are weekly prediction episodes, uh, the format? I predict something, it might be something to do with the technology, it might be something to do with how the system's going to be run, how the system's going to be financed, it could, anything that encompasses the Boeing company, I will make predictions about. And I'm going to make predictions all year long, uh, and maybe halfway into next year. And then we're going to look back at what we've predicted, and say, yes, you were correct, or wow, that was so far off, you are stupid. <laughs> Let's hope it's not the latter. But I think it, I'm not making stupid predictions here, I'm making solid predictions based on uh, what I'm reading on the Boeing Company website, what I'm reading in the mainstream media, what Elon Musk is saying. So it, it's, it's based on solid grounds, it's not stupid stuff, it's logical. I'm pretty confident most of it is going to be correct, or at least partly correct. So, I thought we'd talk about this today. Tickets. So this is a rail ticket. I'm absolutely amazed, £75 from Glasgow to London. Uh, it's probably more like £180 now. But the price of a ticket is critical. And if you watched Elon Musk when he did his talk, he came up with a number off the top of his head. And that number was one dollar one dollar for a ticket i assume that's a single ticket and not a return well either way that is absolutely ridiculous one dollar is nothing in the uk and that would be around 62p you can't even buy a, a bottle of fizzy uh, pop for, for that amount it's just next to nothing so, the prediction is, the Boeing company will abandon $1 tickets. So, I'm not necessarily saying that they might not do $1 tickets, but uh, reasonably quickly after introducing them, they will abandon them. Why will they do that? Because it's just, you can't make money for $1. $1 is nothing. Absolutely nothing. There are lots of outgoings when running a large public transportation company, like the Boeing company, Lots and lots of outgoings, lots and lots of maintenance, lots and lots of costs that you're going to incur uh, every year or every month. And it's just it's just not going to be possible for one dollar to, to make to, to make one dollar possible. You'd have to have easily two million people using the system very, very regularly, maybe every day it's just it's nothing one dollar is nothing so why is it not going to work as you can see i've wrote something there i'm not going to repeat it because generally elon musk is correct but i think he's just plucked a number out of thin air and he's not really thought about it so infrastructure it's a huge investment to build the infrastructure to make the boring company tunnel network actually work you have miles and miles of tunnels we have tunnel boring machines you know we have the actual pods there's a lot of infrastructure there that needs investment and you need to consistently maintain a tunnel to ensure it's you know going to last the uh, the test of time and to do that they're going to have to borrow a lot of money to build the infrastructure millions and millions of pounds it's going to cost somewhere in the region of 20 to 35 million dollars per mile of tunnel yeah that's per mile so it'd be in that kind of region maybe slightly more so if you have to borrow that money you're going to be paying interest on that money every single month you you have to pay it off as quickly as possible and one dollar a ticket is just not going to cut it it's nowhere near enough second thing to think of is running costs now these vehicles are autonomous but you're still going to have to have staff who are running the system maintaining it 
uh, repairing it, you know, ensuring it, it's operating correctly. They'll have a lot less staff than, say, the London Underground or the LA Metro. But still, you've still got cost there. Um, there'll be a lot of wear and tear on the system. The pods will need regular repair, especially the interiors of the pods. Um, the actual uh, track or the shelves inside the tunnels will will suffer from wear and tear. The tunnel lining will uh, need repairing every so often. And you don't know what's going to happen, you know, in terms of um, the actual geology that we're going through. So there could be significant uh, repair required every few years. And the energy costs is it, not going to be possible from day one to use uh, renewable energy. It might be the case that it's 50, 60 percent renewable energy from you know day one and then they build that up to 100% renewable energy so energy costs are going to fluctuate slightly very slightly but that can definitely put a dent in your finances so again one dollar is not enough pod maintenance constantly growing is more positive on the system um, pods should be reasonably reliable definitely in comparison to diesel buses but still there's going to be pods that break down they're going to be pods that develop problems um, Obviously, these pods use rubber tyres. Tyres are going to need replacing fairly regularly, maybe every six months, if not less than that, maybe every four months. Who You won't know until you start running the system. So there's going to be constant maintenance required on the pods, um, and they're going to need uh, constantly to be um, re-engineered to improve their reliability. So initially... They won't necessarily be as reliable as you want them to be, and that will cost you a lot of money. Inflation, um, the cost of everyday products, the cost of materials, the cost of metals, the cost of energy, everything is going up, general inflation. Uh, next year, it's projected to be a lot higher than it is this year, and then maybe the year after that, it'll be around the same or even higher. So again, you've got to factor that in. It's going to affect uh, what people going to pay to get things done on the system in terms of maintenance and costs so again one dollar not enough cost overruns in building this project it's going to cost more than what they think it's going to cost they're probably going to have to go back to whoever they borrowed money from and say look um, I'm probably not going to be able to do it for the amount we said we we're going to do it can we borrow another 60 70 million dollars so uh, with startups, uh, they're constantly failing, 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 and then that leads to innovation. They have to fail 10 times before they succeed. So in how they ensure that the TBMs are working uh, effectively and are faster than traditional TBMs, they are going to fail. They're going to have to spend money, and that money, is going to, that money or that money that they borrow is going to have to be paid for. I don't think that charging one dollar a ticket is going to pay off those costs so just just all those five reasons we probably could add a few more on there it's not enough we need to think about how we're going to pay for this system and make it viable it, it's going to cost a lot to build it's going to cost a lot more than they think it is to run and they're going to over have to overcome problems as they are operating the system and all those things are going to cost money so, final thoughts. No one has ever built a system like this. There's a lot of unknowns. Trying to predict costs is incredibly difficult. Therefore, trying to say from day one that you can charge $1, just $1 for a ticket, is insane, Elon Musk. Insane. You can't do it. You can't do it. That's not how it should be done. You've got to think worst case scenario. And you've got to think that potentially it ends up costing $50 million to dig a mile of tunnel. Yeah, that's you've got to just think absolutely worst case scenario is 50 million. You've then got to think we have problems with the pods. We, the pods cost more to manufacture than we thought they were gonna manufacture. The energy that we use in the pods is slightly more than we thought it was gonna be. Uh, and also the amount of wear and tear on the system in general is a lot lot more than what they thought it was going to be from when they initially started so if all those things go wrong or go wrong to a small extent one dollar is not going to cut it
this is my personal opinion. Something around the three to five dollar mark would be more viable. These are unmanned pods. They drive themselves. So the main uh, cost of actual staff is not required. So I think that's a roundabout viable, yeah? And it's gonna give you a little bit of profit, which you can reinvest back into the system, invest it in better pods, invest it in uh, R&D, research and design on, on newer pods, on newer systems that could maybe run in the tunnels. Um, and it'll help you pay off your debt more quickly if you have that kind of price factor of around $4. And obviously, this is the key one. They could always reduce the furs if they prove to be over profitable. If the system is turning over hundreds of millions of dollars and they're getting, you know, a three, four uh, percent, you know, profit margin on that, then they could always reduce it to two dollars fifty or two dollars twenty or something like that. Once they can prove it's profitable and people are using the system, they can start to cut it down. And as a result, more people will use the system because it's cheaper and they can afford it. You're opening up the system to a bigger market of people. So that, that is the, the, the sensible, common sense approach. Start off with around three, four, or maybe even $5, and then work your way down as you prove that you can do this profitably. Once they've engineered the pods to be super reliable, then they can maybe cut it again, cut it by another 50 cents. So again, you're getting more people using the system, which makes it slightly more viable. The Boeing system needs to make reasonable profit and not bankrupt every single bus company or even the Metro system, that is. At $1, they're undercutting buses and they're undercutting the Metro system and we don't, we don't want to be taking passengers away from those systems, not necessarily. Um, we want to help grow those systems. We, we want people um, want people who are really starved of cash to use the metro and the bus network because they're the most affordable. But we also want people to have that option of using uh, the Boeing Company system maybe when it's, it's peak time or it's, it's busy. So we don't want to price people out of the market. We don't want to be undercutting bus companies. That's the last thing we want to do. Imagine if it was just $1 and all the bus companies had to either cut the prices or cut the number of buses they were running. That wouldn't be good for passengers. No way, no way. So we don't want to do that. We want a nice sensible price, maybe that's slightly, either slightly less or slightly more than a bus ticket. Uh, maybe a little bit less than the Metro ticket. That kind of price level would be perfect. They'd make a decent profit, they'd be able to expand the system and they would succeed. And they'd be able to constantly innovate using that money for R&D. Right, well what do you think guys? Do you think that's a sensible conclusion? Hope you do. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon guys, ring a ding ding. I'd appreciate some comments. Do you think $5 is enough? Do you think it should be $6, $7? What do you think? Do you think they could do it for $2? How do we make this system more viable? How do we keep costs down? How do we make sure that the Boeing company succeeds? We do that with constant innovation, in my opinion. You've got to fail 10 times before you succeed. And that is key to the system. You know, there are gonna be some problems along the line but I believe with Elon Musk in charge and the other people that, who work for his company, we can succeed in this endeavor. Thank you very much. So thanks for watching guys. I do appreciate everyone who makes comments, who likes the videos, um, who subscribes, definitely, that, and comes back and watches again and again. That really helps the channel. Thank you very much. And please guys, keep watching and don't be boring. See you next week. Goodbye.